What's good, YouTube? It's your boy K Flex. I'm back here with a late night video. Okay, right after this video, I'm going to sleep. I should actually be doing my homework, but I'm making a video. Listen, oh my god, I have 24 minutes. To... Anyways, listen, we won the game. This is gonna be a fast video. I have to do homework, but we won the game. Noah Igbenagabi. Bruh. I don't even know if I said his name right. I never bothered learning how to say his name because I thought he was going to be cut like last year. <laughs> like I, I never even thought he was going to be on the team. But he actually got the game winning interception, ladies and gentlemen. And this is the Noah we wanted to see, right? Even though he did get fried a good portion of the game. But there was a lot of like good stops, okay? Noah is making uh, great improvements. He Because he was like un, like fathom, like he was unbearably bad at the time. Like, it looked like he shouldn't even be in the NFL. Like, I, like almost the worst I've ever seen. So even though he's playing like He's not a leader or anything by any means, but he's like playing like decent. Like he might be bad even, but even him being bad, a bad corner is different from what he was. Okay, he was absolutely terrible, but now he's actually getting some pass breakups, and he got the game winning interception. Now again, this has to be a very fast video because I have to do some homework, so I have to make it super fast. But let's get into it. So Noah won the pick, uh, uh, won us the game with the interception. Uh, the whole game was a really a rusty game by our team. Uh, Torch came back to, today. He besides like the first two drives, he looked pretty terrible. Uh, he had like four passes that could have, and I hate saying should have been picked because it's like it wasn't. So like, why are you counted against him? But these were actually like really bad, like right in the defender's hands, and the defenders just can't come up with them. So those actually like should have been picked. Uh, Mostert looked pretty decent, pretty good actually. But uh, Tua, besides the first two drives, didn't look good. I feel like when we stop giving the ball to Waddle, like stuff starts stops going our way. So if you look at Waddle, you only have have five targets. Um, Mike Gusecki had more targets than him. Mostert had more targets. I don't know why. And then Tyreek had 13 targets, which is fine. I understand we have to feed Tyreek, but I don't understand why. I feel like we do way better when actually Waddle is getting the ball a lot more, okay? We didn't, like, run no kind of screen for Waddle or anything for him to, like, really, like, force Waddle the ball. And Waddle's really good. And also, but we, we was taking him out quite a bit, so I'm wondering if his, if his groin still bothering him a little bit. I'm not quite sure, but uh, Waddle was an interesting case, but I think we run a lot better as a team when Waddle was touching the ball more. You know, that, that's the truth. Not saying he has to touch the ball more than Tyreek. I don't know how you balance that out with the other receivers. as a very tough task. But to me, the game just looks a lot better when that happens. Now, the Dolphins won 16 to 10. Didn't cover the spread if you care about gambling, but I don't really care about gambling. I just want my team to win. Um... But there was an interesting part in like, what the third quarter where we went for it on third on fourth and three at like the goal line when we could have went up. Awful decision by Mike McDaniel. Hope he learns from this. In a situation where you're playing like Patrick Mahomes or something, I understand going for it in that situation because you have to keep up with the points that you know that he's going to put up. But in that situation with our offense not running the best, that was an awful decision. We should have took three there. Would have made it 19 to 10. Would have made this game a lot less sweaty than it was because you're going up against Kyle Pickett. I mean, you don't trust that he can really – do much on offense to like make things rough for you right we're going up against Pickett or Kenny Pickett I'm sorry so you don't really trust that he can do much on offense to make it rough on you so you go up by two possessions there and you like make them one dimensional but instead we 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 didn't and we almost suffered from it you know so that was an awful decision I think by uh, Coach McDaniel honestly but again it was like a honestly this wasn't our best game but we still beat a team that we're supposed to beat so at the end of the day it counts as wins and losses and we won the game so I'm excited nonetheless but it was definitely wasn't our best performance if you if you ask me, it definitely wasn't our best uh, showing. But you win a game, you win a game, okay? Listen, it's the NFL. It ain't no game really going to be that easy. Um, I did think that we should have won this game. I didn't want to lose, especially not in front of all the legends, all the 72 legends and everything. That would have just been terrible. I did think we were going to win the game. We did win the game. But it was one of those games where, again, I don't. I never really think any game is going to be, like, super easy because I'm understanding that uh, – where the Dolphins, first of all, it's never easy. And then second of all, it's the NFL. Like, teams are good. So, uh, but like, like I said, like, if you look at the second half, nobody even scored the whole second half. The whole third and fourth quarter, nobody scored. And we should have at least got three, but we didn't, okay? Um, so, that leads me over to, like, the, you know, Najee Harris. We, we did a good job shutting him down for the most part. Um, we did a good job. Our defense played really great the whole game, honestly. Defense played really great the whole game. Gave up only one touchdown. But other than that drive, they played really great. And they were on the field quite a bit because... Our offense was absolutely terrible. Um, like I said, Tua didn't play great. Uh, Tariq didn't have a great game. But, I mean, if the quarterback doesn't play great, then the receivers probably aren't going to play great either. Mike Gusecki didn't have a, the great, greatest of games. But on defense, we had Bethel had an interception. And we had um, Holland had an interception. And Noah Igbenogby had an interception. So, that was, was like basically why we won the game. Won the turnover battle, basically. Won the turnover battle, won the game. Both the offenses pretty much was the same. Um... If you really look at it, and then we won a turnover battle, so we won the game. Look at the turnover battle. Let me see what it was. 
Yeah, three to zero. So, I mean, you won that turnover battle. And the fact that we won the turnover battle when we only won by six points just lets you know how bad our offense really was. Uh, Jason Sanders pretty much won the game for us, and that was it. But uh, moving forward, you have to have better offense. But, again, you, you don't actually – don't, I'm not personally going to lose sleep over it because we won, okay? And I'll just be happy we win. I'll just be wanting to win games. That's it, okay? Short video, guys, because it's late. I have work tomorrow, and I have to do homework. Like, comment, subscribe, roll to 11K. I'm out.